Donald Trump's delivered a stark warning to the Venezuelan government Monday. The US president stressed his country's commitment to regime change in the impoverished South American nation and called on its military now to rise up against President Nicolas Maduro. And today I have a message for every official who is helping to keep Maduro in place. They are risking their future. They are risking their lives. You must not follow Maduro's orders to block humanitarian aid. Who's the commander-in-chief of the National Bolivarian Armed Forces? Donald Trump from Miami. They believe that they own our country. The days of socialism and communism are numbered not only in Venezuela, but in Nicaragua and in Cuba as well. Donald Trump in Miami, with his tired rhetoric, questioned the right of our free country to adopt the ideas of Christian human socialism, our socialism, in an almost Nazi-style speech. It's been almost a month now since opposition leader Juan Guaido declared himself interim president of the impoverished country. And he's continuing to turn up the pressure too on Nicolas Maduro, who's preventing tons of US aid from entering the country, fearing it will undermine his position. Dan Cohen's got the latest. Trump called on Venezuelan military figures to accept amnesty from Juan Guaido, saying that if they don't, then they will lose everything. Now, up to this point, uh, the Venezuelan military officers continue largely to support the elected president, Nicolas Maduro. Trump says that they are risking their future and their lives and calls on them to not make obstacles in delivering what he says is humanitarian aid. Now, many are questioning if this is humanitarian aid at all, including the International Committee of the Red Cross, whose spokesperson in Colombia said it is, quote, not humanitarian aid. Now, in the past days, the U.S. military has brought shipments to the Venezuelan border in Cucuta, Colombia, and actually the billionaire Richard Branson has announced he will be staging a concert to pressure Nicolas Maduro to open the border to this so-called aid. Earlier today, the Venezuelan government announced it will be holding its own concert on the border and said it wants to deliver aid packages. The U.S. is causing tens of billions of dollars of loss to Venezuela's economy, and they're offering 20 million in crumbs. This aid is politicized that the U.S. is demanding Venezuela accept. The hypocrisy is that the U.S. is imposing a very heavy sanctions that is causing far more damage than any economic crisis in the country.